One of the things I miss about where I live right now is being near Pinecraft Park in Sarasota. And this was a place that I would go several times a week and it was just a little park with a nice little hammock trail in it and I would be able to go and just walk through those trails and meditate and uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it really uh, was a great part of uh, my regular day and it kind of kept me sane. And um, now I live in, in Bradenton and Village of the Arts and we don't have that nature here, you know. I mean, yeah, we got, we got trees and vines and, and all that, but we don't have that hammock area, you know, where there I could go into the woods and I would be ensconced in the woods. I would not see any buildings or wires or anything. It was just nature. It was so, so beautiful. And now I live in the real world and <laughs> we don't have any of that anymore. But I have started taking to uh, walking through the village. Um, and if you haven't practiced walking, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a really good thing, especially when I need to take a little break away from the computer, which I've been staring into for a few hours today. And being able to take that break and kind of get a reset as I uh, set into my next project for the day, which is actually just going to go back to the same project because it's a lot of work to do. But the point is, it's nice to get out, exercise, breathe in some fresh air. And I know that uh, some people are really strict under their, their uh, lockdown procedures and all of that. Um, but I never really let it let the whole lockdown get me to a point where I'm not going to go outside and go for a walk. It's essential. So one of my intentions is to take my morning walk, take that time for me to breathe, to meditate, to contemplate, and then to do a little bit of this and kind of talk to the world out there, you, and uh, let you know what's going on. You know, I, I, I see a lot of people on, on YouTube, and I see a lot of YouTube folks out there with their YouTube channels and how they get, there's a lot of them that say, you know, oh, it's how to get your following, and this is how to get so many people and all that. And a lot of them are all saying the same thing over and over and over again. And a lot of them have built up their YouTube followings by telling people how to build up their YouTube followings. And I remember when I was in Orlando back in my 20s, and I saw an ad in uh, one of those, like, you know, the weekly papers, you know, the free ones, in the back, and it said, you know, you can make all of this money. Uh, I forget exactly what it said, but it said basically you can make money, send a dollar to this P.O. box. And I was like, with a self-addressed stamped envelope. So I was like, all right, I'll check that out. And so I sent my dollar and my self-addressed stamped envelope but a week later, I get my self-addressed stamped envelope back, and inside is a sheet of paper, and it says, if you want to make a lot of money, put an ad out in one of those weekly free papers that says, you know, that same thing I'd read, you know, and so it's just this perpetual thing. I'm like, oh, everybody just said, hey, you want to learn money? Send me a dollar, and I'll send you this, this uh, plan on how to do this, and it seems like that's what, like, a, a lot of YouTube uh, folks are doing, and so... My question is, I don't know what I can actually offer people here on YouTube. I don't know if I have uh, the capacity to help you improve your business or improve your numbers or anything like that. Morning. Morning. But uh, I want to at least talk about what I see going on in the world, you know, and it's, it's been a challenge for me because I see the way we're going in the world and I know how uh, addictive this, these smartphone things can be because I get sucked into them, man. I, I will get on a Facebook scroll and I'll just go for like ever and then like two hours are gone and I'll never get those two hours back and I've consumed all of this media that has done absolutely nothing for me. And I'll do the same thing with YouTube. I'll scroll down the YouTube thing and say, oh, I want to watch that and watch that and watch that. And I'll watch a couple of hours worth of stuff that does me no good. And I don't want to put out crap that doesn't do people any good, that just wastes their time and it's just consuming media for the sake of consuming media because I think, really, the message I do have to put out there is be more choosy with the media that you consume. Recognize that you're being targeted as a consumer and you need to rise up to the role of citizen. 
I'm trying to rise up to the role of a citizen and spend a lot less time being a consumer. Not, I took Facebook off of my phone, so I, I'm only checking that like once or twice a day, trying to get that down to maybe once or twice a week. I'm keeping myself from watching a lot of other uh, YouTube videos and other uh, stuff online and trying to spend less time in the screen or by a screen unless I'm actually having to do work on it um, and more time out in the real world affecting real life stuff because even though you're watching me here on the interweb this isn't where I am even though you're watching me on your smartphone I don't live in there I live out here in the real world and I think it's important that each of us embrace this time that we're given and these opportunities that we're given and I believe this whole pandemic is a huge opportunity for us I believe we need to embrace who we are what we're really about and what we can really do and so that's what I'm doing and so I'm hoping that this uh, short message that I have for you is an encouragement to you to say hey you know what whatever I have to tell you today is really get off your phone let this be the last thing you watch today Go out into the world and live. Have a relationship with somebody. Speak to somebody. I know we're all afraid of them right now. We're all afraid of everybody right now. But find courage. Get out there. Live your life. And I'm going to do the same thing. Now tomorrow I'm going to have a different idea for you, I'm sure. Hopefully it won't just be, you shouldn't be watching me. But we'll get to where we get. And we'll do what we do. And life will go on. Have a great day.